So let's go to some classes in a royal demeanor. Right now, presence is the most important one. You practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in the mirror. Young as you are, you are a queen of the blood. You are your mother's daughter. You are a force to be reckoned with. And you stare at yourself in the mirror and practice focusing and trans transmitting energy with only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze on and off at will. You practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic and to let that energy surround you for others to share. One of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Zedna. We have a Duke of Zedna? <laughs> uh, no, my lady, the Duke of Zedna isn't a lass. They have brought you a letter. And a gift. Condolences on the death of. Deeply regret. Best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Something sparkly will make me feel better. Hmm. Yes. Now we can take a while to visit this woman. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. She holds out her hands, light flickers above her bosom, and then, with a shower of sparkles, Something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find a crystal that belongs to you. Yes. I don't need to take presents both times this time, because to get it up to a hundred... Which is my uh, little goal here. You need to have at least 25 in the other two things. So I will take presents in the morning and composure in the evening. You plant your feet in a strong stance, imagining that you are a tree, deeply rooted in the earth. You can feel that power within you and know that you will not be pushed aside. You practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm. As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Azul. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, her hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction, so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was that a servant, a thief, or an assassin? Call the guards! Guards! However, by the time the response is organized and directed to the area beyond the palace, there's no sign of any intruder. You wonder if it were on, if you were only imagining it. Probably not. Let's talk to father. Dad, what happens to mom? What happened to mom's room in Crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't really want that to happen to you. With your crown queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you are still a child. No. Okay. So then I have to learn some elegance and composure. You practice walking along a narrow rail, taking each step carefully and focusing on your balance. You practice you practice positive thinking, 
Maintaining a good self-image and conditioning yourself to carry on rather than be frustrated by any past misstep. You practice sitting calmly while your teacher circles around you and makes unexpected loud noises at random intervals. As you are walking up the stairs, a maid comes rushing, running down holding a towering pile of linen. You gracefully step aside and let her pass. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time for time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the powers of Lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you have bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess, you should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we may have to take drastic action. I'll try to find a way. Alright, I'll try to get into the treasury. So, let's take some more classes. I need elegance and presence. You practice standing and walking with books balanced on your head. And you practice the elegant way to hold and sip from a teacup, your pinky slightly extended for balance. You have unlocked a new outfit! You practice focusing your attention on individuals as you pass, letting them feel a brief connection with you before you formally acknowledge them with a nod. You practice being aware of your environment, seeing everything as it transpires around you, and feeling that you are in control of it all. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crowdfunding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 lazy to assemble the metal, and a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we will be able to create, a, create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now, and make copies to send all over the world. And I don't know much about production and f trade, so I failed this. I don't know much about factories or trade, would that really be worthwhile? We are not interested. Hmm, what should I do here? Let's take a look at how will I fare in here. No, you try to explain to the guards that you need to visit the treasury in order to get an accurate report on the domain's finances. They waver slightly, but in the end they stand by your father's commands. So let's do something else. Get more lonely and more cheerful. Good. Yes. I need a greater presence. You practice giving commands to the castle staff, either you're asking or demanding, but telling them what needs to be done. As long as you believe it to be true, they will as well. You practice a gate watching people and willing them to feel your gaze on them. Inevitably, they will be drawn to you. You imagine things that you want to happen in the near future, and then convince yourself and others that those things will happen. You organize a group of cousin stuff and coach them through carrying out a complicated multi-stage task. You have nothing more to learn about presence. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixionite occupation of the count county of Imbrium has gone on for, for too long. Now is the time to push back. I know there's been some problems with, uh, problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. 
I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion and try to complete some... Try to come to some arrangement. Thank you, your highness. Your highness, if I may ask, what necklace you're wearing? Where did that come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have made arrangements with him. Uh, with sort of arrangements. Your Highness, that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. Oh, I didn't realize. Yes, I guess you didn't. <laughs> you ordered the guards to stand aside and walk forward with your head held high. None of them dares to deny your access to your own treasury. The glitter is dazzling, but some sixth sense draws you towards one little locked box in particular. This is what you need. This is the crystal that will make you a lumen. You tuck the box into your pocket. You can show it to your mentor later and get instructions on what to do next. Yes, I kind of need to get a bit more willful now to learn more about that. So, let's see what we shall do. I guess I need some conversation skills. Proper etiquette for all situations. What's expression? The skill of singing beautifully. No thanks. I guess I can train reflexes a bit, possibly. No. Medicine. Poison. I need that. If a victim is stabbed with a poisonous spine of a sea urchin, the spine must be removed carefully, and the affected area soaked in very hot water in order to cook out the poison. It is possible to become immune to the venom of a particular snake by routinely ingesting very small amounts. However, this protection is temporary and will not provide any help against other snakes. The representative from Ixion is here. Be careful. No one wants to give up prizes that they have won. Hmm. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Your royal highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I'm sure we can come to an amicable agreement. Let bygones be bygones, no? We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. We can be good neighbors again, without any lives being lost. Hmm. Let's intimidate him. You are trespassing on our lands. You will withdraw your troops at once. Only then will we have peace. Threaten to attack. My soldiers are poised to destroy you. Withdraw now. And my presence was a success. Very well. Phew! Yay. I need to get more willful. So I don't need that yet. There we go. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Yes. So, let's take a look here. Some more poison, I guess. But I always... Oh, I kind of need the others right now. She's afraid. You learn that willow bark can be used to relieve ashes and fever. Or aches and fever. Eh. Not ashes. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to pre prevent dirt from growing under the skin. 